Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, uh, there is a part of the brain near the visual cor cortex called the fusiform. It's dedicated to facial recognition. It's how we tell friends from strangers. It's how we are able to pick out somebody we know in a crowd. Modern day human beings are used to living in cities and towns where we don't know most of the people around us. But, but even as long as cities and towns have existed, the fact is, is that for the most of human history, human beings lived in tribes. Small groups of hunter-gatherers and you knew everybody in your tribe. If you saw a face you didn't recognize, alarm bells went off in your head and you were likely to either run away or attack. The modern day human being sees more strangers while going to the supermarket than our ancestors saw in their entire lifetime. It used to be, even uh, after cities and towns became established, it used to be that you were born, you grew up, and died in the area that you lived in, among people that you knew. Now it's really common for young adults to leave the place of their birth and begin a new life completely surrounded by strangers. Some of us even go to a different country and live among people who not only are strangers but look nothing like us. Human beings are remarkably adaptable and we've learned to be comfortable Are, are, are among total strangers. But we have not entirely left our primitive selves behind. Just as we still have superstition and religion, many of us cling to prejudices that arise from our primitive selves, from our primitive fear of strangers. Though most of us are quite comfortable with people of different races and ethnicities, we still have white supremacists, black separatists, Islamists, and even though we pay attention to, to those groups, just about every ethnic group has people among it who think that they are superior to all the other ethnic groups. So you might as well hand these people a club and a bearskin because they really are not part of the modern age. They are part of our primitive heritage. Thanks for listening.